Okay, guys, this is the right hand right now. Okay, so I'm just gonna work with them real quick because I, I, you want to kind of get different stuff. You don't want to just always. That's what people end up doing. They use the same treats for ten years. They seriously. They'll ask me what kind of treats I use, and I won't see them for a while. And they'll bring the dog back for boarding, and they still have the exact same treats. You gotta just be just full of surprises. Not so predictable every day or something. Same damn treats every day, year in, year in, year out. That's true. Yeah. So this, they didn't know what it was at first. This was just, just giving them tiny, tiny bites. And let me tell you what, they were liking it. They were liking it. So I'm not just ignoring because it's jumping in. You're so good. In fact, I think I'll cook up some regular chicken. This stuff has a little bit of That's what I do. I get up and then I let the other dogs out, feed them and stuff, and let these guys. I get up first and let these guys out. So that, this is all night. They didn't make any mess in here all night long. It's it's unbelievable. A little bit of a mess, but not too much. Not too much. No, they're good. They're, these they're they're no trouble. They really are. There are sometimes there are some. That, oh, I just got some sort of problems. Not these. Those races. Look at those faces. They're very, very, very Yeah, just the bloodlines. I mean, I know I understand people can't read pedigrees. If you said, how do I know people can't read pedigrees? Because they should read the pedigrees of the dog they bought and there's nothing there. But they think it's a good pedigree. It's, it's bizarre.
So you're there just to provide So what are they doing? But I've had people flat out say, no, I'm not doing it, never gonna happen. I am so invested in the behavior of sit that nothing is gonna tear me away from it. dying to just be all ruffled up. They want to be rubbed, they want to be touched. I don't say that, they don't. They're not looking for that. 
I think that that's you trying to fight with them or something. I don't know if we can do all of you at once. They definitely know the train now. <laughs> she was putting it right in my hand. She was putting it right in my hand. Now, it, it, just, it is very hard to understand it. I realized I've only learned, really learned, understood how to train dogs within the last week or two. So I understand how it's difficult for people, especially if you have a very, very preconceived notion about how to train dogs. <sighs> you are unbelievable. Uh, you know, that you're just, that's what holds people back. They're entrenched. It's like if I think I, I know how to draw. First you start out, and the way I draw, if, if somebody who knew how to draw looked at it, say, oh, no, you're starting at the wrong place. You're, you're completely starting at the wrong place. Because you know, I was looking up when, when Lorenzo was here, we were doing those chalk drawings. And... If you said the way they were doing it was completely back, oh, it was completely backwards from the way I was doing it. She was doing, it was, I was drawing that pumpkin and she was doing the face first and the pumpkin part second. So she drew the face and then added the pumpkin. If you said, I always would do it by draw the pumpkin and the face. You know, it's just completely opposite. So if you said, well, you think you know what you're doing? Exactly. So that's exactly what people do though. They're starting at the exact wrong place to train the dog, hence the drawing doesn't turn out. It's, it's true. And if you said, well, when you sit down to start to draw these pumpkins, you can't help yourself but start drawing the outside of the pumpkin first. No, after that, I did start drawing the face first. I understood they were doing the face and then building around the face, not building and then adding a face. It's like a puppy game show. <laughs> if you said, why could you do it not in the container? Well, because... <laughs> oh my God, she brought it back to me. I don't have an extra lighting one. Hey, well. got to just, the only way to really get good on camera is just keep going on there until you don't care anymore. Until you don't care. If you said, then what happens after the don't care phase? The after the don't care phase is, we didn't just get that on film. <laughs> that wasn't just on film. There was no camera just now. What? <laughs> There's not nine cameras on me. I'm not happy now. You said, what about if you're just a hot mess? I, I don't even care. Angie Marie gave me a brush for Christmas, a hairbrush. <laughs> what does that tell you? <laughs> if you said, well, I have, Kato chewed it up the first day. I left it on the counter and got a hold of it. <laughs> oh, you, whoops. Oh, got it. A little stinker. You saw me looking around for it, though. You can't say she's not putting it right in my hand. You little 
peanut. tray helps though just even for the sound even for this even to isolate the sound I think is on Facebook and Billy Joe Armstrong put something yesterday said Merry Christmas or something if he said what did I say I said I love you Billy Joe Armstrong if he said what did he say probably oh good God <laughs> good God <laughs> good God no <laughs> please good God no ouch all right hang on I just gonna put this hair up a little bit <laughs> always watching everything I do they don't care about my hairstyle Sometimes they'll stand on it and they don't, they're not aware of it. And that other little puppy, Kato, it was always aware if it stood on something. It's very strange. Yeah, that would make the observation. But just then he was aware that he was standing on it. video yesterday where I was training two of them at once. I just dropped one and dropped the other. It's not as easy as you think even just to do one that I can do two. You guys should be amazed. And it's like one o'clock in the morning. I just woke up. I was so tired too. I get up and then I just let these out, or I, I let them go outside. I just lay back down for like 10 minutes. Then I was afraid, oh my God, what if I fall asleep? You said there's really no risk of that with all these. Not really. It's, it's really very almost We're way past the coincidence stage. It's just 
fire crunches. Oh, he's absolutely perfect about sitting there. He's very, very, very intellectual. like try to analyze them. I say, yeah, if you just you did the same thing an hour later, the, you know, say, oh, the lazy one. Now I'm just having to sleep right there and dress me. You know, that's not the lazy one. Or the one, they're, they're trying to overanalyze. Oh my God, they all lay down. And I say, it really isn't like that. It just, it's just, you're just looking at a snapshot of their day. She's unbelievable though. as clean of a deliver as possible. As possible. Oops. You know, if you said this, is that what you're looking for? I mean, it is. Yeah, it's, it's for the behavior to be very clean and exactly what you wanted it to be. Not a bunch of, you know, you know, not to pick on Fred Hassan, but his trained retreat is the worst I've ever seen. And then he went on the retreat with training board saying, I don't teach a hold. Oh, that's very obvious. That's very, very obvious. By the way, your dogs chew everything like a beaver. I mean, oh, I don't know, this is his hold. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. You know, and then goes on and says, I don't teach a hold. Oh. I don't have to tell anybody that. Very obvious. If you said, will this result in a clean hold? It seems to. It seems to. Is he having a chance to find you? You little fighters. <laughs> You've got to kind of be able to sense. I couldn't really see it, but I could kind of sense that she had it in her mouth. Oh, that's a difficult one. Oh, that's heavy. All right, I'm going to have to go here in a second. I'm going to do this all day. I'm not sure which one that one is. That's yours, I think, Carolina. Yeah. You little baby, it got stuck on your face. It got stuck on your face. Stays off by itself. This one and that. Always. See, he heard that noise and turned around. Yeah. 
back later. It's it really is fun working with them now. It's, it's it just it, there's nothing random about them turning out. If you said, well, it's not like kids; they just randomly turn out good. The, str the, the lengths people go to to make sure their kid turns out. You know, the tutoring, the this, the that. But they want to get a dog and just. They're going to need training. It can be the best it can be without training. It can be. If I wasn't, I was in the shot on YouTube. I could show you some other seven week old puppies right now if you said, what do they do? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. It seems like you're teaching them to buy clothes and stuff, though. All right, hang on. I'm just going to do this real quick.
So I just always sort of have the announced return. Oh, you little cutie. Uh oh, one of them's trash. Okay. Hang on, let me grab a couple more treats. shoe bottom. I mean, you don't let her in immediately. You better let her in immediately or it is just a non-stop tantrum. Non-stop. Alright, let's just do a couple more. Oh, just a couple more. A couple more cards. Such a distinct moment. So they'll always remember. They probably will. <laughs> oh, the noise got him running over. This is something called the Bill Jack, and um, I highly recommend it. I really do. It just, you can give them one little pace. Oh, it's absolutely perfect. Actually, both had hold of it. All right, let me try to do two at once. It's harder than it looks. Oh, you little peanut. 
They like playing back there because there's like, you know, there's like a little, there's like a whole little separate play area behind there now. <laughs> oh, it's a whole separate little play area back there. It's a secret play area. I see she just winked at me. Did you buy this? Did she buy the story that it just ended up back over there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is good though, because it's got this got rubber on the bottom, so it doesn't bounce as much. <laughs> you get up fast enough. I gotta go finish getting stuff done, but I'll be back live later. You little penis. You see why I just keep staying out here doing it, though? All right, look, let me see if I can get him to lay down. If he said it was already doing it. suggestion. Alright, let me see if I can lay down now. There you go. <laughs> it's all coincidence. It is a coincidence, but it's pretty soon it isn't a coincidence anymore. You know, I mean, for me, if I wasn't videoing all this, if you said you'll look back later, I don't have time to review all my footage and how much I shoot, but then I'll look back later and see things besides the fact I look like a hot mess. You know. Little peanuts. See things that I didn't see the first time. I'd say, oh, that sounds plausible. Anyway, so they're starting. He's kind of just on the edge of the crate, but they'll get in there. It's that, you know, it's all nice and dark. Oh, you little peanut. You little sleepy peanut. All right, guys, I'll be back later. Oh, hi, Maria. Oh, hi, Lorenzo. Oh, what are you staying up? Anyway, it's, it's amazing, isn't it? It's. I've only been doing this with the puppies since crash, I think. I want you to understand that's, that's how much of a profound moment crash was to say, well, you know what? <laughs> Clearly the only thing stopping these dogs from doing this was the fact that I didn't believe they could do it. It's true, that was the only thing stopping me. Anyway, I'm gonna go do a couple things. Finish getting the dogs in and I'll be back later.